Hello fellow YouTubers. This is part three in the tutorial on Metropolis Arc 3 by Orchestral Tools. And we'll start with the first multi. Now this, in part three, primarily we'll be looking at uh, low winds, uh, trumpets, horns, and low brass. So we'll start with the low woodwinds articulations in the multis. And uh, the first one we have is staccatissimo in the low winds. I'll go ahead and narrow this down a little bit. Followed by a beat single. And upbeat triplet. Forte piano. It's like a decrescendo. And here we have a small or a short crescendo. And a mid crescendo, long crescendo. And decrescendo short. Decrescendo long. Flutter crescendo. Flutter crescendo two. So they get a little longer as they progress from one to two to four. And the next patch, the next multi. There we go. Woodwinds cluster. So now we're into the clusters. And the first one is the half note down, which we saw in the other part one and part two of Metropolis Arc 3. Staccato. Tight. And here we have upbeat single clusters. A beat triple cluster, and then forte piano cluster, which fades out. And then we have a half note down cluster. And here we have a staccato cluster. And a beat single cluster. And a beat triple. Next multi, we have low woodwinds with uh, repetitions, which we saw in part one and part two, the repetitions multis. So here we have the half note. Let's see, here we go. Quarter note. Quarter note triplet. And here we have the eighth notes. And as long as you hold down the key, it continues to repeat. 
eighth note triplet. Sixteenth note. And sixteenth note triplet. Actually, it just occurred to me that a lot of these uh, repetition patches within the multis are similar to what Vincent Vienna Symphonic Library does with a lot of their patches. They have a lot of repetitions in the advanced articulations that they provide. So here we go, low winds cluster repetitions. This is unique to um, Orchestral Tools, Arc, Metropolis Arc 3. So quarter note, quarter note triplet repetitions, clusters. And then we have eighth note wide repetitions. And here we have the eighth note triplet cluster. And the 16th note cluster wide. So it has a wider stereo field. And here we have the 16th triplet cluster. And all these are wide, meaning a wide stereo field. And next, we're into the brass. Here we have the trumpets and staccatissimo. So get up in their range. And then we have the upbeat single. It's like a double tongue with the accent on the second note. A B triplet, decrescendo, forte to decrescendo, and then decrescendos. Crescendo short, crescendo medium, crescendo long. Decrescendo short. Decrescendo long. And then the flutter crescendo one, which is short. Flutter crescendo two a little longer. And flutter crescendo four a little longer yet. And then, continuing in the trumpets, we have clusters. So here we have the half down. Again, the articulation we saw in the, the woodwinds. Staccato cluster, tight. A beat single cluster tight. A beat triple cluster tight. Forte piano cluster decrescendo tight.
And then we have the half down cluster type. Staccato cluster wide. Upbeat single cluster wide. A beat triple cluster wide. And the forte piano decrescendo cluster wide. And I believe we have one more trumpet multi. This is the ensemble repetitions. So we have the half note. Quarter note. Quarter note triplet. Eighth note re repetitions. Eighth note triplets. And 16th notes. And 16th note triplets. And then I believe we go into the horns. No, we have one more multi of trumpets. Uh, cluster repetitions now. Half note cluster wide. Quarter note cluster wide. And again, as long as you hold the note down, it continues to repeat. So that was quarter note triplets, and we go to eighth notes. Eighth note triplets. Sixteenth notes. and 16th note triplets, clusters wide. And again, I don't think any other library has done anything along these lines with clusters and cluster repetitions, first I've seen. Now we should be in the horns. Here's the horn uh, ensemble multi and staccatissimo to start with. And then upbeat single. Upbeat triplet. Forte, pian forte piano decrescendo. Crescendo short. Impressive sound. And then crescendo mid. Crescendo long. E crescendo short. E crescendo long. Whoops. And then we have the flutter crescendo one. Flutter crescendo two. And flutter crescendo four as they get increasingly longer. Continuing with horns, we have the atonal multis. First articulation, half down, half note down. Mm -hmm. 
You know what? Here we go. That's it. Then we have staccato or staccatissimo cluster tight. A beat single cluster. A beat triple cluster. Forte piano cluster decrescendo. And the half note down cluster. And that's tight. And then here we have the staccato cluster. The upbeat single cluster, upbeat triple, and then the decrescent forte cluster decrescendo. So there's the horns and the tonal articulations, unique. and from orchestral tools and I think others will probably be following in the future. And here we're into the repetitions. This is the half note. Here's the quarter note. triplet. Eighth note. So you have to hit the notes the exact same time, otherwise they're slightly staggered. Which could be an interesting effect. Here we have eighth note triplets. And sixteenth note repetitions. Here we have sixteenth note triplets. And again, this idea of the repetitions is is also used in the Vienna Symphonic Libraries in their different instruments as well. Although, I think uh, in this case they're actually played, whereas in the Vienna Symphonic Library, I'm not absolutely sure on this, but they could just be um, just using singly, single articulations and then re repeating those single articulations with round robin. So this would sound more realistic. Something to investigate. So the next multi we'll look at is the horn ensemble, a tonal. So the first one they have is the uh, repetition, half cluster. And then quarter note. Wide. And then there's the quarter note triplet. And then we have the eighth note cluster wide. And then the eighth note triplet cluster. And it's wide also, you can tell by the stereo field. And then the 16th note 
cluster wine. And 16th note um, triplet. And then we're in the low brass, I believe. Low brass, starting with the staccatissimo. Then we have the upbeat single. And the upbeat triplet. Followed by the forte piano decrescendo. Crescendo short. Crescendo medium. Crescendo long. Decrescendo long. Decrescendo short. Flutter crescendo. Flutter crescendo longer. Flutter crescendo long. So now we get into the F note down, similar organization we saw in the other multis. Staccato, or staccatissimo cluster. A beat, single cluster. A beat triple. Forte piano cluster, decrescendo. Half note down, cluster. Staccato cluster long. Actually, it sounds short. Staccato cluster. Staccato is short by definition. And then we have a beat single cluster, as well as a beat triple. Forte piano cluster, decrescendo. And then staying in the low brass, or we might, yeah, one more low brass, I believe. So here we have the repetitions. Half note, quarter note. Quarter note triplet, eighth note repetition, eighth note triplet, sixteenth, and then the last multi we'll look at in this video is the low brass cluster repetitions. So the first one is repetition half cluster wide. Oops, here we go. Here's the quarter note. Sounds like more of a cluster there. In the uh, half note, it doesn't really sound like a cluster. I think that's a little bug. There was a bug also in my uh, that I found in their patches in uh, Metropolis Arc One, where uh, that's the timpani multi. The key switches showed up, but the actual all the keys were dark gray, like like this. And they acknowledged that was a bug, and they will be working on fixing it. 
So here you have a cluster. So I guess this is another one here. Because that's not a cluster. There's a cluster, and that's um, the quarter note. Here's the quarter note triplet cluster. And here's the eighth note cluster, wide. Eighth note triplet, wide. And 16th note cluster, repetition wide. So that does it for this video. This is Bill McFadden from Tone Pure Music, and there will be a part four, and that will be coming up soon. So if you like this video, found it useful, please, or found it useful, please click like. If you want to be notified for upcoming videos, and there should be, there will be, I guarantee, some coming up very soon, possibly another one today, then uh, please subscribe. So this is Bill McFadden signing off from Tone Pure Music.